So the entire YouTube sort of invertebrate community, I suppose you could say, the um, people that make YouTube videos for invertebrate related and stuff like that, have all come together and they're gonna be doing a secret Santa. Now, I've been invited into it, so I'll give it a go. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? I don't know who is sending to me, but I know who I've got to send to. And I've said her name a few times, Jennifer's Tarantulas. That's who I'm sending a box to. Now, don't worry, this isn't sort of blowing the secret away or anything, because I won't up upload this video until the very second she uploads her receiving this package. So it'll just be common knowledge. So I'll stick a link in the description below and in the top card of her channel, maybe even that exact video of her receiving this and unboxing it. So you can run over and check that out. I'm planning to do a few little gags in this or something like that, I'm not entirely sure yet. So it'll be interesting to see her reaction, but I've got my box, I've got my tape, I've got to make the box up and figure out what I'm putting in the box. We've got a limit of 10 pound. So we'll see where we go with this. What am I gonna send to Jennifer and Jesse of Jennifer's Tarantulas? Well, I was watching a recent live stream, I think it was a live stream or a video, where she basically done up her snail's enclosure, but her snail's enclosure is a communal enclosure. It's got a few millipedes, a few beetles, and the snails, and it's just it's packed with springtails. It's proper thriving. So she's just done that one. But she did realize she'd lost a couple of millipedes. So, I, I need more millipedes. I seriously have no clue where the hell they have gone. Well, oof, that's where I come in because I have a couple of tiny millipedes. I've only got a couple. There's a couple not doing too well, but these ones, I was breeding these up to the stage where I could basically get my own millipedes to give a naturalistic diet through to Hugo because millipedes are his natural diet in the wild. Well, it got to the point where I was breeding them and I was selling them, but I weren't actually feeding any to him because I just couldn't do that. I can send her what I've got left. I do only have, I think, two left. Uh, so I'll send her a couple of millipedes. We've got a limit of 10 pounds. So far, it's not cost me anything. This is a great way of uh, twisting the rules. But I'm gonna check inside the enclosure to see if there is any babies in there first. So there's the enclosure. Sorry if you can see a shadow. I've got my little tub here that I'm gonna be putting them in. So I'm gonna get this open. Oh, get the lid out of there. And basically, there's one of them. I don't know the actual specific name, but they're a giant African millipede. So I'll drop that one over there. That's all I've really got left. So let's just give it a shake and see if we can find any babies. None in there. Right. Oh, there we go. There's. Another big girl. Poof. There's another one. She's a beauty. So that's two we've got. So what I'll do actually is I'll spread some of this out and put it in the tub. So that I can just sort of... So I've got something to send them in sort of thing. Yep. I'm just traipsing through it nice and gentle. Make sure I've... Well, see if I've got any babies in there. Because I don't think I have... But you never know. I may have some babies and then she may get some babies out of this as well. Oof, right. Bit more in there. There's no babies so far, guys. None at all. Oh, bit of apple. Definitely active millipedes. They're running around like mental. Right. Wait, 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 wait. So that'll do for them. Right. So I'll run through this. Dead quick and see if there is any more, but I don't think there is. Right, there's a little bit of wood there. They love rotten wood, so I'll drop a bit of rotten wood in there. Here's another little bit of rotten wood. I've got to get some leaf litter.
dude, I'm sorry, mate, but you've got to go in there today because you're going to a new home with Jesse and Jennifer. These guys are going to their new home. Got a lovely big enclosure they've got to go into, and I'm just happy that I don't get to. I don't feel bad about not feeding them to Hugo or feeding them to Hugo. Whichever way around it goes. So I'll get a couple of plastic bands just to be extra secure. And, ooh, so we've got little ventilation in there. This is how you sort of ship animals, so to speak. We've got the polystyrene box. It is winter, so it is cool. And I'll also, a bit of tape, but I'm not writing on them because I can't find a pen, but all I know is they're giant African millipedes and this sticky tape's crap. So then, there we go. So that's the first bit. Just wipe that straight over one of the lackey bands. Just keeps it nice and secure. Then the box. Oh, perfect fit. There we go. So that's that. What else can I send? I'm thinking of a small Dubia roach breeding colony. Also, just send her a load of baby Dubia roaches because she has quite a lot of animals to feed. And Dubia roaches can get quite expensive. What shall I do? First, I want to check the next little square box that I've got. Does that fit in? Absolutely perfect. So, let's go get some Dubia roaches. So what I'm planning on doing is giving it a small Dubia roach breeding colony. It's really hard to get Dubia roaches in the UK and they're one of the most healthiest source and the most durable source of food you can have in the UK. So if I give her a couple of, I don't think she's got a breeding colony of Dubia roaches, I really don't. But if I give her a few females, a male, um, some babies, some teenagers, that's surely got to get her going on a small Dubia roach breeding colony. She'll never have to pay for live food or it'll cut her live food bill in half for her tarantulas. That's what I'm gonna do. So there's that. We have got an absolute ton of dubia roaches in there. I've also added a lot of their fraz because their fraz contains an awful lot of um, nutrients and bio microbiotic stuff that's good for the babies. And there's a few fair few babies in there. So I'm just going to tape it up because this is jam packed. This tub. So I want to tape it up, get it nice and secure, whack a few lackey bands around it. Get it shipped out as soon as possible so it's not in postage for that long. Oh, it just fits nicely. Look at that. Right, so. I've got a pen, I've got a business card. Doo -doo, and I'm gonna write on that one what, what she's actually got. Uh, there is something else that I wanna sort of send along with her. Just something for her to try out. Um, and that is, sorry if I'm doing all this, I've got everything lying around. My roach chow. I just want to see if this what these roaches are on. So um, I've got a couple of little bags. So hopefully the bags will fit in without we're bulging out too much. Sorry if you can hear some scratching. Hugo's um, scratching around loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. So there we go. Two. I've got two little bags of my roach chow. If you want to learn how to brew, how to make your own roach chow, dead cheap and dead nutritious, just click on that card there. Now I've got the problem of how do I fit these two bags into this box that's already full. Jam it in the corners. Yeah, I'll get it on top. I'll flatten it down really good. There we go. Got the fragile sticker. Urgent live creatures handle with care. Oh, I've got a few stickers to add on to it. Fragile handle with care. I'll stick one there. 
just because you can never have too many of these. I'll stick one. That's obviously where the address is going. So I'll stick another one there. And I'll stick... Ah. Oh. Oh. You've now got my DNA, Jen, if you want to clone me or something. Because you know what? Who doesn't want to clone me? I'm awesome. Right. I hope you enjoy it, Jen. I really do. I hope you and Jesse have loads of fun. Nip over to Jennifer's tarantulas. I'll stick it in the description below. And just see her reaction of it all. I hope she enjoys it.